Crystal Islands. Here we go, Jim, the captain said to me. The crew hoisted the sails, and the wind pushed our ships out of the harbors. I'm Jim Hawkins. He has only been a month since I found a treasure mouse at the bottoms of the pirate chest. Some friends helped me find a ship's captain and pro. Before I knew it, we were off to find the gold. I have a good feeling about these journeys, said the captain. This is a fast ship and a fine crew. And you lucky boy to have found that map. Fortune is on our side. The captain was quite right, right wrong. Trouble was right around the corner. It started late on night on the ship. I went to get an apple for a snack. I leaned too far into the apple barrel and fell inside. Before I could climb back out, I heard the footsteps and the clack 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 of a good legs. That had to be Long John Silver, the ship cook. I hid in the barrel. When, uh, when are we going to take over the ships? I hear a silent name's hands whisper. Not until we reach the island. Long John Silver replies. The captain still has the maps that will lead lead us to the gold. I search, says Hans. Then the footsteps move away. At first, I was too scared to leave the barrels. Let us slip in through the shadows. I found the captain. I took him what I had here. There are pirates among the crew, he says. We have to sneak away before they steal the map and throw us overboard. It was night time when a ship reached the islands a few days later. We start a search for the treasure in the morning. The captain took the crew. Then, when the pirates were sleeping, the captain came to me with a few sailors. He truth. We rowed a small boat to the island. We landed on the beach at dawn. An old wooden fort lay in the shadow of the shore. The pirates who buried the treasure must have built it," said the captain. "We'll be safe inside the forest for now," I said. We put the boat into the sand. Several hours later, we heard a shout. We want the map. Long John Silver calls. The pirates have found us. They drill this world, which dreams. In the sunlight, you have to come and get it. The captain says from inside the fort. The pirates came as like an army. They climbed over the walls and into the fort. The rich sailor found them off. I tried to help, but it was too small to do much good. When two burly pirates looked at me, I had no choice but to run into the jungle. I scrambled down a hill and drew a stream, finally slamming into a huge beard. But it's well a spare at all. Do a shaggy, dirty man. Don't run, old man. Won't hurt you. I've been marrows on this island for years. He said, "Why you come here?" I explained everything. How I had found the map and Long John's, and how Long John Silver had betrayed and crew. Long John Silver is a pirate who marrowed me here. Said Benz, "Go get your captains and crews." Maybe I can help you deal with these pirates. The voice was this quiet when I returned. I crawled through the darkness, expecting to find the captain and a load of crew resting after the fight. In tears, I bumped into the wooden legs. Well, look who we have here! Long John Silver says as he lifts a lantern. He has the maps he has stolen from the captain. I spent the night in terrors, not knowing that the pirate was with me. I worry about the captain and crew. Where, where has they all gone? In the morning, Long John Silver ties a rope around my hands, pulls me long, and she blows the mask to the street. Around noon, Long John Silver stops. It's Martha's part. He points to the mask and stands at the ground. Man, start digging. All afternoon, the men stole away mouths of dirt, five fast tests. We are spread from the ground. All of them were empty. What kind of trick is this? Hand gels. You let us on a wild goose chase. Long John Silver, watch who, watch who you were talking to. I'm the captain here. Long John Silver roared. He raised his sword. The other.